hello guys and welcome back to the channel i believe you guys are having a beautiful time today i'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew these back pockets on this particular trouser you're looking at it has been one of the most requested video on this channel how to cut a back welt pocket for a trouser you can see this trouser here it's actually a complete video so i just decided to call this aspect for you guys in order to understand how to construct the back pocket as you can see how neat it is so i'll be taking you guys through the process step by step in this video so in case you just want to have a glimpse of what the back pocket is going to look like as you can see on my hand this is after the finishing of the pocket so i'll take you guys through the full construction of cutting of the lining you can see it has a lining at the back let me turn it so that you guys can see it has a lining at the back and i already i also tape it all around so without further ado let's get straight into the video and if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're yet subscribe on the side also you can see that so i want you guys to pay good attention at this side also so i cut the i cut each of them at four inches that's the wideness of four inches and the length of it is eight inches the total wideness of the pocket is going to be a total of 5.5 that's for the back pocket it's going to be a total of 5.5 so mostly you can just leave it like seven inches or eight inches because i will still have to trim it out you can see so i'll be using a paper gum on this one you can see you can see that the, the, the gum actually form more on one side than the other side. You can see what I just did. I want you guys to pay attention at this place. One side form more on the other side. So uh, the gum part form more on this side than the other side. That one is like maybe like one inches, right? So let me show you why that is because I'll be folding one. So after ironing it, this is what we're going to have. You can see that this one is smaller. The stay here is smaller. Why the stay here is a little bit bigger. So I'll be folding this backward, maybe like, like one inch. I'll be folding it by one inch. You can see that. And I'm going to iron it down. You can see, so while we have this, this for our back pocket, so let this also be here you can see that so this is the lining we'll be using for the back pocket i'll be using the same lining so i cut this one at the length of 20 inches right you can see that i cut it at the length of 20 inches and the wideness is going to be at so after folding my pocket i'm still going to have like a total of 7.5 inches so this one will so the depth of your pocket is going to be like 8 inches minimum of 7.5 inches you can see that so our back pocket is ready so we'll be going to the sewing machine now and start our construction step by step so the very first thing we're going to do is on our pocket that's our front pocket so this our pocket cover as you can see in my in my dart at the back first so at this dart area right here i already marked it i'm just going to fold it you can see i'll be taking like a like an half of an inch at that edge like it yeah like an like an half of an inch at the side and i'll be joining it and i'll stop the joining at that 3.5 don't forget 3.5 don't forget that we're saying for an adult has to be at 3.5 so you can see what i have so i'm going to make a chalk i'm going to mark our pocket place in which our pocket is going to be on that part you can see that so also on the other side you're going to take exactly the same thing so as you can see on the back side of the trouser right here where did that actually end where the dart ended you can see that place that's where we're going to mark that's where our pocket is going to start from so the total extension of our pocket is at 5.5 so you're going to divide your 5.5 into two places and you're going to place it at your center point at the center point of the dart so i'm going to mark my 5.5 here 
and mark it here also you can see that so that's where the pocket is going to be so the next thing i'm going to do is just to make a straight line right here you can see so that's where the pocket is going to be itself i believe you guys can see this this is a very simple way to do this so if you're doing two pockets you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other pocket also you can see that so in order to fix the pockets now here is our pocket don't forget but i believe you saw when we folded this in case you haven't seen it you can just go back to watch the video so now at this place right here i want you to pay good attention at this place so here i'll be placing it like this you can see that's the folded one so let me move closer so this pocket right here let me focus the camera very well so that you can see this place very 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 well okay So let me make a chalk. This way the pocket is going to stop. This way is going to start and this way is going to stop. You can see that. So make sure this side is facing the fabric like this. You can see that. So it has to be facing the waist area. You can see. So I'm going to make my stitch here. Depending on how wide you want the pocket side to be. So the pocket is just going to be a tiny, maybe like a quarter of like a quarter of an inch. That's the wealth of the pocket itself. So I'm going to make. You can see. I'm going to first lock that starting point. You can see. I lock that starting point. So I'm going to stitch it straight and I'm going to lock that ending point also. You can see that. So I'll be trimming out that part. So you can see how smooth that side is at the back panel also. So the next thing we're going to do now is to place our lining. So the lining is going to be at the back. So first I'm going to make a notch because I need a center point on the lining. You can see, I'm just going to notch it. And sometimes you can place your lining before you stitch your first, uh, your first pocket in. That's your first uh, welt pocket. So at the center part of the that, you can see that at the center part, the lining is going to be at that place. You can see that. So all you just have to do is just to fold it down and place it under your machine. So as you can see, your lining is going to be under, under the, you can see that. So the lining itself is under the pocket, as you can see. Make sure it's accurate. So the next thing I'll be doing now is the second pocket, which is the, the second line. I'm going to pull this one up. I'm going to open this side also. You can see that. And I'm going to place my what pocket right here. Make sure your lining is right there with you. Make sure it doesn't, it doesn't because we, we need the lining to turn up the pocket itself. You can see that. So I'm going to start my stitch from exactly where this ended. You can see, just place it. So I'm going to stitch exactly what I left here. So don't forget, we have like a quarter of an inch, right? So I'll be stitching a quarter of an inch at that back also. A quarter of an inch you can see that so I'll be stitching a quarter of an inch at this back also so 
So I'll be locking the first stitch and I'll be locking the ending stitch as well. You can see that. So I'll be stitching it all the way to that ending part. I'll be cutting it out. So you can see what we have. I'll be I'll be trimming out that pocket side, that that first one. So after trimming it out, I'm, I'll simply cut out my pocket. So on the opening area, I'll fold it together just like this. Make sure your lining is under and I'm going to make a notch at the center part. You can see that. So I'm going to cut it together, you can see. So I'm going to open this side up. Let me focus this place so that you can see it very well. I'm going to make a notch to that, to that last stitch and also this place also. You can see that very simple also the second side i'll be doing the same thing i need to make a notch other side and this side also i'll make a notch you can see that you can see what we have so far so i'll simply turn it inside I'll be pushing them inside, you can see. You can see what our pocket is looking like. You can see what the back pocket is looking like. You can see that side so make sure this actually overlap that place you can see let's fold it backward you can see what the pocket side is looking like so make sure you draw this place over open it up so you can simply take that part for ironing make sure you use your iron to balance it all up So your lining we actually have to come up so but first at the edge part take your time to iron it make sure it's balanced you're going to iron each of the edges make sure it is balanced then we can simply open it and make our stitch at the side before we turn our lining so this is what the pocket is going to look like so i'm just going to iron that place You can see that you can see what we have you can see how smooth the edges are looking and how the pocket look like you can see so all you have to do is to stitch the back side stitch it from down parts and you're going to stitch this side also you can see then we can simply turn our pocket so after stitching it from the inside this is what the pocket skin to look like so just iron this side you can sprinkle some water if you're using a steam iron that will be perfect you can see what our back pocket look like you can see that very very simple That's what the back pocket is going to look like. You can see that. So 
So the next thing we're going to do now, after you're done stitching the edges and your pocket is looking like this, you can see what the pocket looks like, how straight it is. The next thing you're going to do is just to fold the edges, edges of the welt pocket itself, just open it up like this. Make a straight stitch. You can see after locking it up, you're going to fold this upward. Let's fold it upward like this. You can see that. You're going to hold that place down. You you can see that it actually overlap your pocket side at that area. So the next thing you're going to do now is to lock it up. Now making a stitch. I'm making a curve at that side. If you want it to be a square shape, you can simply leave it squarely like that. But I want the pocket, back pocket to be a curve M. You can see. So I'm just going to stitch it up. So after stitching it up, at this edge right here, which is the down part, you can see that place. All you have to do is just to close up that place and make a stitch. Just close up that place, just like that, so that the pockets will not be free at the top. At the upper part, you can see. So this is what we're going to have. This is what the pocket is going to look like. So at the back side, you can see that. This is what it's going to look like. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to trim out those stitch area. Then I can simply pipe the pocket itself. I'm just going to trim it. So I'll just trim it all out. So after trimming it, you can see what we have. So I'll be using our trouser bias. You can see that. I'll be using our trouser edge bias. So I'm just going to fold it on it like this. You can see that. I'm going to start my stitch. You can see that. I'm just going to stitch it round. So just make sure your hand is straight and make sure you're sewing the tape at the end of the pocket itself. You can see that. If you follow this video exactly what I'm doing here, you're going to get exactly the same result, 100%. But just locking it up to the to the waist area so I can simply trim out the SS. You can see that. So after you finish both the back and the front, if you, if you so if you're making your pocket on the other second child or on the second back, you're going to do the same thing on the second or on the second. 
so after this is the result you're going to have it's going to look clean like this all you just have to do is just to add your waistband and do the closing and the joining of everything all together so like the video and share and subscribe i'll see you in our next video peace and do enjoy yourself